Oh man, you know, A B, no alcoholic beverages, abstaining from beer. Adrian Broner is cleaning up his act. That's what he's saying. He said he's dropped some weight and it's very good for the brother. We're gonna talk about that right here in this chat in this video. Let's get it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego. And I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, and all that good stuff. We working. In a message to his fans, Adrian Broner says, Good morning. Today, I ran six miles in 54 minutes, y'all. It's not hard to change your life. I went from overweight, 57 pounds, waking up, not even drinking water first. And I take a shot of 1942 and start drinking for the rest of the day to wake it up one day and telling myself I'm going to change. I, I, I'm going to change this shit and become what I know I could be. And that's one of the best boxers ever. Broner continues And I didn't look back Now I'm months in And liquor free And over 30 pounds down If you know me then You know I love to drink But I love my family And money more I was unhappy and depressed And now I'm not as happy As I want to be But I'm working towards my goals And dreams No matter how hard it may be I will get there And I ain't asked for a handout or help Sometimes you have to do things on your own and you will enjoy the results more. I love y'all. Now, you know, I celebrate this. I, I like this from Broner. You know, the thing with Broner is some people think he's like hot and cold. I don't know. But what he's saying, I like it. I follow him and a lot of his people and I see Broner is running and they're trying to he's eating nutritious and they're trying to get this weight down. Upcoming fight, most likely with Ivan Redcash. We're waiting for PBC to make that official. So I celebrate it. You know, 2020 was a rough year for most people around the world. This is not just a USA thing. This was a worldwide sweep. Um, it's, it's, you'll be hard pressed to find anyone in the world who absolutely was not affected in any way like you either seen it on the news or you know somebody or you couldn't go somewhere or you know just it's just been rough bro we lost some celebrities so i think this is the best time this is everything happens for a reason and i don't know what the lord has in store but i will say this was a great time at least for me personally to reflect, to think about life, to get a game plan. So I feel Broner, you know, you got to use this time. This pandemic has separated us from some of the BS. So there, there could be a silver lining here. A lot of people don't think about that. A lot of people are complaining because their lifestyle has been compromised. And a lot of vices that people had, that people used to rid themselves of pain or depression or hide from their issues you didn't really have that this year you didn't have the opportunity i mean you could have did just whatever you wanted but it became harder because even if you don't want to wear a mask and you want to be out and about there's places that were closed or there's curfews like i'm in california we're on lockdown there's curfews we're not supposed to really be going out for non-essential things after a certain time so at the end of the day, this was a this was a great year for like an awakening and to really see in life what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong and strip some of the fat, cut some of the fat, see what you need, friends, you know, people in your life, keep your circle small. And it looks like that's what Adrian Broner is doing. Adrian Broner, he knows he has a fight. He has some legal problems and you know the drinking and, and the fast life and stuff he's already lived at so if he wants to shred some weight get back serious and get back in shape 
and give it a, a, a last little run, I commend him. You know, Clarissa Shields was also talking about this. There's a lot of people who, when it's bad for you, they'll be there to broadcast it. They'll be there to, to broadcast it. All your fails, all your, you know, attempts and tries that you come up short, all that stuff gets glorified. But then Broner, he ain't, he, he like kind of just with his with his people getting in shape and it's kind of going under the radar. So that's why I wanted to make this video. You know, I want to make this video because there's a lot of people that because Broner is not popping bottles and in the club as much or, or whatever right now, they're, they're not talking about this. Talk about the good stuff. Talk about Danny, champ of the world. Talk about Philly. You know, you got to talk about the whole thing if you want to talk about a person. Talk about the good, the bad, and the indifferent, the ugly, all that. So I like what Broner, what I'm seeing from Broner. Some people are going to say, oh, it's fake. It's for publicity. Listen, it's never too late to to switch up, change your life, to, to get sober, to stop, you know, craving what you're craving and going towards those vices. That's never too late. I know people that spent many, many years in prison, got out and came out a new man and did something different and are highly successful, more successful than the average person, have more money than the average person. So Broner, luckily, he's been able to stay out of the prison system, you know, for long periods of time, like years. And he still has money. He still has family. He still has beautiful kids. So he still got he still got opportunities, you know, PBC. It looks like top dogs. Broner can sell fights. I have a red cash. I'm looking forward to that fight. So, you know, Broner, I like this. Keep it up. If ain't nobody going to tell you, your boy Ego will tell you. Good job. Keep it up. Keep grinding. And, you know, people want to see. This is what people said they want. See, people are fake. You got to understand that, especially in boxing. There's a lot of fake ones. There's not too many like me. A lot of fake ones. When Broner doesn't pick up his punch count in a fight, they say, oh, Broner need to throw more punches. They say, oh, Broner would be so good if he take life serious. But then now... It looks like he's taking it serious and people are, are still pessimistic and and or not talking about it. So that's just a lesson in life for all y'all. There is going to be people that steer you in a direction, tell you to do one thing. But even if you do that, they was never going to like you anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's really a catch 22. So that's why you got to do for you. I said it's a catch 22. That's why you got to do for you. You know, do what, what makes you happy. Because, like I said, people, they said this is what they wanted from Broner. Him to get serious and take camp serious. And then you don't see people talking about it. So why were they telling him to do this? And then now that he's doing it, they're not giving him the credit for it. So they was never going to give you credit, people like that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. Let me know what you guys think. Also, use ESPN Plus. Use my link. It does help the channel grow in such a phenomenal way. ESPN Plus. They have a lot of shows, and as a standalone app, it's $5.99. You can get that or the bundle if you want more content. ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. That's three apps for one low price of $12.99. And let me tell you, Disney Plus, they just unveiled a monster calendar. And over the next couple of years, they're dropping mad shows. Loki, War Machine, and Bucky got a show. Uh, the Mandalorian's back, and much more. So... Make sure you get that for the Disney classics. A lot of shows that they have the rights to, like Smart Guy and other shows like that, that some of us grew up watching. Let me know what you guys think of Adrian Broner. He said he's down in weight and, you know, he's going to give this thing another run. I commend him for that. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. 2021, let's spread more positivity, less negativity. Go ahead, Broner. That's all I got to say. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off. The YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.